Hey boys, let's get it. Play it some bruiser, red cane, and high elo. Go with my good friend Zol. And let's see, we're up against a Diana set. Alan, okay, so we're gonna go green smite this game, I believe, because we do have a lot of burst. I'm gonna get an early pop because I'm actually gonna look to play this game quite aggressively. So there's two options I could look for. I could either look to A, early gank for my bot lane, or I could look to early invade the enemy jung. And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna wanna look to early gank the enemy jung. Early gank, Melio. Uh, probably won't because honestly, my bot lane's kind of like double mage. I love my duo, know that. Cannot gank that lane for a while, not gonna lie. Ziggs is way too weak. Ziggs just does not have the damage early. Uh, the reason why it's so good to play Bruiser Red Cane here. Yo, I was good. Thanks for the sub. The reason why it's so good to play Red Cane here and Bruiser Red Cane at that is because look at their team comp. Honestly, they have a good amount of CC, they're primarily melee, and it's it would be good to just be able to have that much like frontline and that much like team fight strength. Because whenever you're playing Bruiser Red King, you're playing for that team fight strength, and with this uh, Cleaver Shoujin Overlord build, you're going to be getting so much HP and you're going to get so much value out of it. You're actually going to have an insane amount of damage. Substitute Kiss. For luck, you will definitely win this one. Oh, thank you, thank you. I needed it. Alright, so we're gonna look for the invade here. So enemy jug, we could already decipher is starting bot side. We get this early invade, then we can maybe look for an early gank to the top here. So whenever I'm playing a bruiser, I always like to play a lot more like hands-on aggressive as opposed to like playing a little bit more passive. So yeah, enemy planner got first blood. Seems all good, seems all good. I wanna gank top, but we're gonna have to watch here. Wait and see. So enemy Jung should be pathing down, maybe doing like a three camp down. Also this guy having used flash, it's not very high because I'm pretty sure he would have got pinged already, but it's all good. Nice, glad that he helped me there. All right, so I'm gonna reset and go defend my bot side camps. The enemy Jung should be around here or it could be around there. I'm just gonna pink kinda all around. Yeah, we're gonna get a control ward, long sword. I'm not gonna wait for full HP because I'm gonna heal a little bit for my E and then I'll heal off the camps, but pick my team and let them know. Oh wait, there's Diana. Okay, we see her. That's what that ward is good for. So now she's gonna realize I invaded her top side and then she's gonna be uh kind of inactive on the map for a little bit. Yo, oh, Mozart, thanks for 500 bits. You're the best. Oh, thank you, buddy. Appreciate that so much, man. My goat, Mozarts. Very kind, my friend. Okay, I'm gonna smite that straight down here. I just want to move immediately for my team. Make sure we get a controller down. Oh my god, I'm trolling. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I did it. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, I want to make sure I'm defending my topside camps here, so I'm just going to run immediately on over. Yeah. We're going to... That. Okay, so she's just around there. She double scuttled me, but I got two of her camps. I just farm all my top set camps and I'm cut up. CS, perfect. I might be able to look for another gig top here as well. He's putting a ward, so I could probably loop around that and look for a gig top, but he's a little too healthy. So that is kind of scary. He definitely could just look to one shot me, so we're gonna have to wait to see if there's any big trading going on. If there's big trading going on, I'm down, but if not, I'm just gonna chill. Chill max, do my thing. I'm gonna use my E. So if I didn't think, uh, if I if I thought that the gank would actually work out, then I would have held on to my E and just used my Q to go over the wall and use my E for the gank. But I don't really think this gank is going to happen. I just use my E. It's a little bit more time efficient. Alright. So you always want to kind of start out with the cleaver rush, and we're just going to get as much damage as we can for the early game. All good. Anna's there. Hopefully, uh... 
Doesn't get any kills. Be very ideal. Oh no. That's not good. Probably play for Dragon here soon. Caitlyn, or not Caitlyn, Camille's about to hit level 6. So we can maybe look for a play on the Talon. And if we get a play there, then we can look for the Dragon. Dragon. And whenever you're playing a bruiser, you kind of just want to make sure that you're able to. If you can get their dragons early on, once you get your form and once you're team fighting, it's very easy to carry the game. You're just gonna have so much agency all around in the team fight. It'll be huge. It'll be huge. All right. Go for my bot side camps up towards my top side camps and maybe look for a play on the set. Looking for the gank in mid is not a bad idea, but I think I'm going to wait till I'm 6 because Talon can easily turn on and kill me if I go there. But obviously, he's going to be able to get a full combo off on somebody, and if he's smart, he'll just full combo me. I know my Camille wants to gank because she has good setup, but I don't know. Probably going to be very upset with me soon. That's why I play with my chat turned off because, I mean, realistically, I can't really look for that play. She waited. Really, that, that much longer would have been fine, but unfortunately, not too much about that. Oh my god. My Bullion's looking over. Oh my god, he actually got the heal. Nice. Holy moly. That's good. I look for the invader. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good. Man, I was really hoping that my Ziggs would walk up. Help me kill that Caitlyn. You're so low. I'm sure I just reset here. I'm, I'm like 99% sure that my top 10 got invaded. Let me get my bot set camps. So she's definitely gonna be reset, right? Oh, Dark Rose, he has a gun. That my boy. Now that Camillo's our ulti, we should probably look for a play in mid. I'm gonna look immediately there. Okay, use my spy. I'm gonna start maxing W. VQ max W. What you should always do on Redkin. Oh, there you go. That works. Here's Diana. I said, oh wait, she didn't invade my top side. What the hell? I really lucked out that she didn't invade me. I thought for sure I would, I would get invaded.
Yeah, the fact that I didn't get invaded, wow, that's huge. The best thing that could happen for me here is if I could somehow get a gank off in top. I think we can too, I think we can. If I lead in and I just tank all the damage, I think we can. Oh yeah, he just wasted his CDs. He actually just wasted all of his CDs there. Oh my god, I'm trolling. Oh my god, this game's over. This game's over. I'm gonna let him shove it in on his own. We can play for Dragon here. Oh, you already know. We're already working on that. Shojin immediately, boys. Shojin into Overlords. So much damage and so much CDR. So much everything. So much HP. So much sustain. Got everything. It's got it all, boys. It's got it all. Dragon. All that really matters is if we get these dragons. All that really matters. He's probably working on this grub, so I'm gonna look to invader bot side here. I'm gonna sweep. Hello there, Milio. Oh, they're raptors. Raptor. -o. I'm pretty strong here, so I'm like pretty confident. My ability to make a player. Nice. Okay, my raptors. I'm gonna be uh, looking back bot side. To that. Uh, I'll make sure that I. Out, uh, I, uh, zero. This is gonna be like kind of a no man zone. Got him. Yeah, that was pretty easy to bait. Sorry, got way too tanky. It's way too much damage as well. Oh, this is the same Urgot from last game, boys. The one who was like 1v9. Same Urgot. Tanky, I am. Yeah, we should probably just look to like hard force this tower. Huh. The hell am I watching? All right, I'm just gonna get my uh, camps. Getting close to Shojin. As long as we're like able to fight and we're strong enough for fights on uh, dragons, it's fine. I think we gotta get 900 gold in three minutes here, so we're gonna need to make some money. But if we can get Shoujin before the next dragon, I think that'll honestly solidify the win. I think as simple as that could be very lucrative for the uh, victory. That's him doing damage to me, yeah. Out of the moment. That's the perk of playing a bruiser. Like I said, playing bruiser, it's really good to like from a be skirmishing and fighting. So I've noticed that my CS is like pretty like bad this game, I'd say, right? I'm just playing for objectives. So this should give me like a couple hundred gold. And then uh maybe get tower with it. That'll give me a couple hundred gold and then should be able to get Shojin. It's basically my main goal right now, just uh go in here, basically. I can come here, actually. Actually, uh, do I? Nah, I think we just go back. Right side's finishing this. We have Milio up here, so. 
I should have spotted that. I'll say I needed the gold. I mean, if my team's this strong, like if they're doing this well, I'll say I might not even need children. As long as my team's doing fine, then I should be good. Oh, it's gets motto. A half. It's really getting down to the wire. Play a good lick here. Nice. Great. Just like that. We are business. I'm actually going to farm red and not farm Krugs here because I want to make sure I'm getting the buff. I'm going to get level 11 here as well and then we're just going to be ready for the dragon. Like I said, this is where we win the game. We're going to get Shojin and oh my god. Shojin with overlords. Oh my goodness, boys. Especially when I get Sterex. When you get Sterex, you automatically have 10k HP because the shield's going to be giving you so much. Because you're going to have like 4k HP and your ult's going to heal you around like 2 to 3k. And then your shield's going to be giving you like 2 to 3k as well. So, it's gonna get, get really close to uh, a 10k HP total. And then you get 580 as well, which is pretty scary because of Overlord. Alright, we go look at the fight. I'll make sure that I'm focused on, the, on my team. I don't get booped away there. You can see the team fight value already. Alright, we should look to fight this dragon. I'd not fight it, but just get it. In my visage? Yeah, yes, my good friend CJ. Yes, yes, yes. See, so this is why like a lot of people always ask me, like, okay, Bruiser or Lethali? I think that's one of the most like reasonably asked questions I get asked a lot that I love answering because there isn't really a concrete answer honestly bruiser can be really good in some comps and assassin can also be really good you know like red assassin it really is just dependent on like you know what your overall need for the composition like if they have a lot of cc a lot of melee champs that's typically when I go bruiser and if not then I go lethali because I mean lethali is really good for solo carrying as you guys could probably uh probably imagine I can't. So yeah, next item's gonna be overlords. Yeah, I'm sort of working at it right now. As much HP as we can. Yeah, Sterix Visage is definitely gonna be the next uh, two items. And then Blade Stokas will be my boots. Actually, I probably don't even need Visage this game. They're, uh... Kill it. They are honestly not gonna pose any threat towards us. Uh, magic damage, that is. Probably death stance here. Probably get death stance if I if I were to say something. Uh. Overlords coming up. I love Rosty boy. Red actually feels so fun to play. By the way, I actually love every every time I get red. The thing about red cam, whenever I play him, it feels like every game's winnable. Blue, it's fun half the time. Sometimes it's really good, sometimes it's like, I do absolutely nothing. Very inconsistent champ that guy is. I'm coming in. Boy, I'm here. They didn't flash in there. That would have been death wish. Send the rift right now. Nice. Just chill inside that guy. Sweet. A cleaver instead of eclipse here. I actually don't like eclipse when I'm playing jungle. I feel like eclipse was only good as a top lane because you're much higher XP. Like, look at my top laner, level 14. I'm really ahead as a jungler and I'm only level 12, keep that in mind, that's why I don't like clips in jungle. Just an item that I think that you need to be, you need to have like a lot of high natural stats for it to be good, in my opinion. The cleaver is always valuable because of the asset it brings to you and your team. By the way, it's smart for us not to take that in if there. Alright. I 
Can look to just take camps here. Yeah, in the mid mid to late game portion of the game, if it's pre-20, never take the inhib, okay? Never take the inhib if it's pre-20. Because the skill ceiling required in order to end a game that pre-20 inhib is far too high for anybody to like honestly reasonably attempt. Whenever you get an inhib, you're really on a timer to like try and end that game as fast as possible. Gonna back up, I think. Getting really close to our item is the good thing. Ur god, I kill the ur god. Oh no, they killed him. Not the ur god. Oh, it's game. Hope you boys enjoyed. Was fun. Glad I didn't get to reach my overlords, but GG's.